What's going on guys? Welcome back. Rob from MyPPCTraining.com. Today's video, I'm going to go through four separate strategies that you can implement immediately to turn around any Google AdWords campaign. All right, so today we're going to go through four optimization tactics I'm going to share with you that are really powerful if you do them consistently you should be doing all of these on a weekly basis except for ad techs that should be every 30 to <coughs> excuse me every 30 to 60 days so the four that we're going to talk about are device bidding keyword bidding adjusting and testing your ad copy to optimize your ad copy and adding and negative and keywords first things first let's go into our example campaign here pp white label ppc we are going to do the first optimization tactic. So first thing you want to do is go into your time frame up here and you want to do the previous 30 to 60 days. Usually we do it every 30 days is the best. It's a nice set of uh, data to go through. You can tell here we have to do all time because this campaign we just turn on and off whenever we need leads, which isn't that isn't that often. So you choose your uh, your last 30 days, last 60 days, whatever. First optimization tactic we're going to do is go to device bids and look at that data. You can see device bids. You have computers, tablets, and mobile phones. So ignore my ignore my uh, bid adjustments already. Let's just say you're starting with zero like your campaigns are. So if we look at our data here, we can see that desktop computers are sending all of our conversions, converting at 35%. And tablets, this is probably just a fluke. It's saying it's the one impression, one click, and it double converted. And mobile we have turned off, so ignore that. Like we're like I said, we we have nothing here. So let's say we were running all of this, and we had you know 20 clicks for mobile, 20 clicks for computer, and we had 20 for tablet. And let's say tablet didn't convert at all. So what do you do? You would just decrease the bids on tablets. Well, why would we want to show traffic to to on a device that's not converting for us? Okay, so you have to look at your data and basically all you're going to do is scale up the bids on the winners and scale down the bids on the losers. And I usually do this in increments of five or 10%. Starting today, I'm going to say do 10%. So you can see here, if you want to increase, like say we're converting 35% here and we want more leads on this device, in, you can either choose increase or decrease. We do increase and increase 10%, hit save, and that's it. Now, if say you want to decrease, Choose decrease, and you would decrease by whatever number you want here. And I would, every thirty um, or every every seven fourteen days, you should be doing this. To so make sure that you're you're scaling up your winners, you're bidding down your losers. That's all it is, guys. And nobody, you'd be surprised, nobody does this. It's like wild. Okay, so that's tactic number one. Tactic number two is our keyword bids. First, let me switch this to manual because it's on auto. So bear with me here. Just want to make sure that you're I'm doing what you what you guys most likely have. What the hell is this doing? Shit, don't want that. There we go. Okay, now we're manual. So next optimization tactic, number two, is keyword bids. So what you would do, you would come in. And if you don't have these columns here, easily just come here, modify columns, check the boxes you want to see, hit apply. That's it. Super easy. So you're going to do the same thing here. You're going to go through, you're going to sort by clicks. You're going to go through the clicks and you're simply going to increase bids on your winners and you're going to decrease bids on your losers. Now, if you have a keyword that's just not converting, and usually that's, in my opinion, this is my opinion, if it's 10 to 15 clicks and it's there's no leads, the keywords dog shit and I'm pausing it. I don't want I'm going to cut the bleeding and I don't want to waste any time with it. There's plenty of successful keywords to move on to. That's just my opinion. You guys can do whatever you want. So obviously we don't have enough data here to do anything but the the whole point is go through your data, increase bids incrementally, so maybe a dollar or two increase and a dollar or two decrease on your losers. So increase your winners, decrease your losers and go through the keywords. That's how you're going to optimize your keyword bids. Really important. And if you have an auto an auto bid strategy on, like I just had on before, we usually use maximize clicks. If you you can't you can't change the keyword bids like this. So what you could do is if you need to increase your bids, you can go into the 
max CPC cap, and you can lift that cap a couple dollars to to bid to have Google bid higher for you. But if you need to decrease a bid, there's nothing you can do. You can all you can do is pause the keyword. So that's important to understand. All right. So that's tactic number two. Tactic number three: go into ad groups, and what you want to do for this when we're optimizing ad text is take it ad group by ad group and just work your way down your ad groups. So go into each ad group, come up here to ads and extensions. And same deal with this, guys. You should be running three or four ads in every ad group. That's very important. Don't run more than four. It's a waste of your time. And all we're simply going to do is look at what converted and what's converting well and what's not converting at all. And we're going to pause what's not converting and create two new ads to run against the winners. And you're going to do that every 30 to 60 days. Some people do it biweekly. I don't. I think it's overkill. But if you continually do this on a schedule, your ads will optimize over time. And your click-through rates will increase and all that good stuff. So just make sure the new ads that you, the losers you pause and the new ads you create to run against the winners, make sure that the new ads you create are totally different copy. Okay, make it you want to you want to be testing. So it's it's important that you're that everything's different when you're testing. So that's tactic number three. Tactic number four. Go back to the campaign level. Go to keywords. And we're going to go into our search terms. Now, you might be wondering what the hell are search terms. Search term is basically this is the raw keyword search query that was typed in a Google search bar that our, that triggered our ad. Okay? Really important. So what we're going to do here is the same thing, the same theme we've been doing throughout this whole video. We are going to add the winners, and we're going to cut out the losers. That's all you're going to do. So you're going to scroll through your search terms report. You're going to see what what's sending you conversions that you might not currently be bidding on. You can see here these keywords, we added them because they we weren't bidding on them and they sent us leads. So how do you add the winners? Simple. You check the box here. Come up here to add keyword. And this is really important. Don't just hit save, okay? This is broad match. It'll add them into your ad groups here as broad match. You do not want that. So you can either do exact match, which is just brackets. Or you can do phrase match. It's really up to you. I always just add them <clears throat> as exact match. I think it's more habit than anything else. But yeah, then you hit save and that's it. And it adds them to your ad group. Now, let's say you have keywords in here that you don't want your ads to show for anymore. All right. So what you would do is like this one. You would check that. Add as negative keyword. Do it at the campaign level. It already auto adds it as exact match. You're telling Google, if this keyword is ever searched exactly like this again, do not show my ad. I don't want it to show. Okay? And one more powerful tactic when going through your search term reports that you need to be doing on a weekly basis is finding root negative keywords. Now, you might be wondering what the hell a root negative keyword is. Like this is a root negative keyword software. All right? So we don't want our ad to trigger. And you might be thinking, well, it's sent a lead. Yeah, but the lead was probably not looking for... They were probably looking for some kind of management software, not a management company, all right, for the, for this example in our campaign. So we don't want our ads to show for anything that has to do with software. So you would do is take the root keyword, go into your negative keywords, hit the plus, make sure it's campaign level, and we're going to add in software, hit save, okay? And you can see software is added in. So that's what you want to be doing is finding root keywords too. That's really important. And if like and root keywords can be different things for different companies, like job, jobs is a root keyword, software, association, stuff like that. You get the idea. And you'll see them come up throughout your search terms report. There's just, it's hard to avoid. So make sure you're constantly adding those. So those are the four tactics to optimize your AdWords campaign. Do it every week, except for ad text. Remember, do that every 30 days if you can. And if you guys have any questions, drop them below this video. I'd love to give you a hand, help you out. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Give me a thumbs up. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, one more thing. Make sure you check out the links in the description below this video. I'm going to put some cool stuff in there for you. So besides that, I'll see you guys either in the Facebook group, which you can find in the description as well, or I'll catch you in the next video.